welcome back to school of civil engineering if you're a civil engineer so this this video is for you and uh, in our previous video I have discussed about many civil engineering basic knowledge topic and in this video I'm going to discuss about lapping zone in beam so as a civil engineer you know that this is an important topic so I'm going to discuss about that and if you new here you can watch our previous video that already uploaded so let's start so first of all if we see due to the limited length of bar lapping of bar are required in a member of more than 12 meter in length or where the length of bar required is more than 12 meters suppose uh, when we buy bar from our market then we'll find it some uh, find it in limited length then suppose our member are we are us using or we are casting a hundred feet or thirty feet thirty meter long building its length of thirty uh, thirty feet thirty meter so how will use that be bar for next one Th then we have to use the lapping I mean we have to connect the two bar and we know that for the bar number 32 millimeter I mean above 32 millimeter we cannot use the lapping we have to weld at that but the less than 32 millimeter bar we can use lapping so how will use lapping in this video we are going to discuss about that so after that lapping length the length of the bar required to transfer the stress safely I mean we will transfer stress safely from one bar to another bar okay so overlapping length or lap length is provided for maintain the continuity of bar in order to safely transfer the load from one bar to another bar it it depends on the grade of concrete grade of steel and dia of bar okay so this is the important ter uh, terms it depends on on the grade of concrete grade of steel and dia of bar already I have discussed about that grade of steel grade of concrete and dia of different bar so if you knew her you can watch our previous video so for that how much lap length is provided in beam so how much lap length lap length we should provide in beam first of all 24 different compression zone and 45 differ tensile or tension zone so okay I mean uh, we know that for compression zone the requirement of steel is less and for tension zone actually we provide steel for tension zone to reduce the tension of that concrete because con we know that concrete are weak in tension okay and strong in compression so we'll use 24d for compress, uh, compression zone and 45D for tensile or tension zone and also if we see that video in that video so here uh, the showing that lapping diagram so here two bar are connected with each other by using lapping condition so here D D is the diameter of the bar okay diameter of the bar So after that we will see about some uh, limitation I mean where we can use lapping or where we shouldn't use that so we have to see it. So the important point should be remembered for beam lap length. So first of all lapping 24D in top bar avoided L by 3 distance from both end. Okay? L by 3 distance from both end lapping 24D lapping 24D I mean when our uh, D is the diameter 24D lapping in top bar avoided L, L divided by 3 distance from both end for top bar lapping should be at mid span so if I clear you suppose uh, we have a beam and for that beam if I clear you about that suppose we have a beam and uh, its 
we have to I mean we should use lap lap length we should use lap length after L third I mean on third distance on third distance of the total length on third distance on third distance of total uh, beam length from the column face okay I mean we will use for top we will use the reinforcement uh, lapping for middle and uh, the lapping 45d in bottom bar should be provide uh, provided at column joint or L4 distance from column face but not be at the mid mid span of the beam so for top we have understand that we should use I mean for top bar top lapping joint we should use at mid span and for bottom we shouldn't use at mid span we'll use within the column phase to L4 distance of the beam so again east ref should be closely spaced near the column and loose or normal at mid span okay straps should be closely spaced near the columns and loose or normal at mid span i mean we will use huge amount of i mean uh, the maximum strap in column face near the column face and uh, normal or low in mid span lapping of bar should be alternately provided lapping of bar should be alternately provided so if we see here if we see here uh, we'll try to use lapping in the column beam column joint face here beam column joint fit and if you think that uh, we have to join that I mean we have to give that lapping zone in somewhere so we have to ensure that we can use here we can use the lapping uh, zone here and also we can use lapping zone here for bottom and for top we have to avoid one third distance one third distance from the column face I mean from column face we'll go on third distance then at mid span or in mid mid place we'll use our lapping so this is the good condition and this is the best condition to provide lapping otherwise uh, suppose if we provide lapping here then here the maximum tension occur and after that our lapping will be loose or our lapping will not work perfectly that's why it should provide uh, lapping at maximum we have to try at column joint and otherwise we have to use uh, the lapping at the for top we have to use near the column uh, sorry we have to uh, avoid near the column face and for top we have to pro uh, focus on the mid span and for bottom we have to avoid the mid span we have to provide column at uh, beam column joint or within the length of L4 of the beam L4 of the beam so this is a good way to provide the lapping in beam so in our next video i will show you about the lapping in column and after that lapping in slab so if you think that that was helpful for you press the like button and don't forget to share that video with your engineer friend and spread that for all of our engineers and also if you think that this channel is helpful for you just press the subscribe button so support us stay with us thank you thank you very much s stay connected till next video and uh, one thing i have forgot to tell you that uh, in this channel you will find hu uh, huge amount of civil engineering basic knowledge video and also they have many video about software related and software tutorials and also then how we'll download or install 
many types of software and how will buy the software you got for a civil engineer and from where you will buy that the everything are available in this channel so you can watch that from our playlist given in description so thank you thank you very much